This technique is going to give you another option from your top position besides actually passing the guy's guard. In this situation, what you're going to do is allow the guy to come on top, except he's going to have a price to pay, which is going to be his neck, because you're going to wrap him up in arm and guillotine and get the finish. So, with Sean here on bottom, we will start in this half guard position where my knee is sliced through the middle and Sean is holding on to my ankle there for dear life. Okay, you'll hear this called like the quarter guard. My hands will be on the ground here and Sean's looking to come up onto my back or come up on the single leg. Okay, now what I need to do before he actually pops up onto his knees, show him what that would look like, Sean. All right, and as you can see, this looks not, not good for me anymore. So when Sean's in this point and, and he's about to pop up to his knees, I need to, without a lot of momentum, okay, kind of slowly, I need to back this left leg up, okay, and drop my hips low. Okay, my hips are gonna turn low, drop low to the ground, okay? Now, the next step is I need to allow Sean to turn towards the camera here, okay? So I will actually walk my butt in a little circle, okay, going towards the camera and then away from the camera here. And what it does is it allows Sean to come up on top onto his knees, which is the false sense of hope he needs that allows me to get the guillotine. So, from here, you'll see Sean's hand appear right here. Look at that hand. That's how I know he's about to jump up onto his knees. So what I need to do is, as he does that, is I scoot with him. I scoot. As he pops up, my right hand laces in. You see that right there? My left hand grabs that. Okay, now for the finish, my, my hand going up into Sean's neck is going to be supported by my right hip bone. My right hip bone, as I position everything, is going to push up into my hand and get the tap from Sean. Okay, so this position here, half guard. My hands hit the ground, I'll slice my knee through the middle. Before Sean comes up to my back, I back step. Okay, as I back step, I slowly bring my hips to the ground. As I feel Sean wants to come up, I scoot, I scoot, I scoot. He pops up to his knees, and now's the time to attack. Right hand here, under Sean's neck. You can see it right here. My other hand is gonna come over the top of that hand. Okay, now I gotta position my legs. You'll see my hips scoot underneath this part of Sean. Like I said, my right hip bone will push underneath my hand up into Sean's throat as my left leg pushes over the top of his back. Pushes the top of his back, my right hip bone is pushing up into Sean's, my hand and making Sean tap. Okay. 